Germany. It says here, Iceland is green and Greenland is icy. The Vikings switched the names to trick everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most famous natural wonders in Iceland. I guess that's where Carl's from. Iceland? Is that even a real place? I thought it was Superman's Superman cave. Oh, that was Vikings. That's pretty good. That's a great gag. Hey, Vikings, it's still pretty damn cold. I only pack shorts. Person, his family has been hated for a thousand years. How do you know about Carl's family? Our country is very small. Very judgmental and very nosy. Iceland keeps the most detailed family records of any country in the world. There! Carl was adopted! By a couple who lives outside Reykjavik. Well, if that's Carl's home, then that's where our money is. But the Carlsons failed in their duty. The enemy invaded, laying waste to our lava fields, burning our sweaters, and feasting upon our tiny horses. Homer. At least we'll always have Beowulf. That's not us. Oh, no! <laughs> Credenza? Credenza? Low boy? My Icelandic boyhood. It's this new anti-crime dealie. The mayor turned the street lights way up. My daughter Lisa feels really strongly about it. This is it. Carl's family home. 22... Uh, oh, that's a lot of letters. 22. Hjallerstreite. So that's why 22 was Carl's lottery number. Yeah, and that's why his sweatpants say Hjallerstreite across the butt. <laughs> the gates are locked. And then we'll just have to wait for him to come out. Some answers or you'll get a mouthful of rotten shark fermented in its own urine. No, no. Anything but the inedible, repulsive food of my native land. Yeah, Carl. Tell them the good reason you had for borrowing the money. It's just so boring. I wish I had something to look at. Ah, I guess I'll just read the car rental contract again. Damage waiver, check. Return the full tank of gas, check. All drivers must be over the age of 25. And check. They're their feelings, their hopes, their dreams. Friends know their friends are from Iceland. We are just guys who sit next to each other at a bar and talk about ugh, guy stuff. Sorry, Carl, it's World War II all over again. America kicks Iceland's ass. No! Guys, do you think Carl was right? What if we're not real friends? Maybe we are just lonely guys who do guy stuff. Learn to read ancient Icelandic. The Carlsons then wrote down this saga so no one would ever forget their treachery and cowardice. Carl's family was even worse than people thought. They were the original ultimate scumbags. Varden? Yes! Varvitten! Can't do this, I can't do this! You can't not do it! Attention everyone in Iceland, we have an important announcement! And where there's exotic fish, there's gotta be a water feature! Dames, ugh, well, I'm gonna go... Take, Take a, a break from your dreary lives to hear Americans lecture you! Oh, wow! Is this everyone? No. Yes. I've learned something about the people of Iceland. You've endured barbarian invasions, total financial collapse, and a lesbian prime minister. Carl's family. The blood of a thousand tiny horses is on their hands. Doesn't matter what happened a thousand years ago, but Carl Carlson's honor has been redeemed by the deeds of Carl Carlson. Even though I moved the week before. Oh. Yeah, and when we were painting my house, Carl Carlson brought that blue tape. And when he brings a six-pack to my house, he doesn't take the extras home with him. Carl Carlson leaves them in the fridge. The many small kindnesses of Carl Carlson have redeemed his family forever. Guys... Thanks for teaching me the true meaning of male friendship.